everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and today I'm going to talk to you about the value of getting a trader education. A lot of people attempt to trade the market. They want to become professional traders or they just want to make money. A training, they don't really even know how much they want to make or, or, or really even what it takes to make even one dollar in the market let alone to be consistent in the market. And a lot of people just jump in, they get a lot of free information and education online, think they know how to do it, take picks from people that they don't know anything about, and then consequently lose. So I'm gonna discuss this today with you right now. This is me, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype, or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Really, trading, if you want to do this for a job, is one of the greatest jobs in the world. Why? Because you only are trading during the market hours, which are very short, 9.30 to 4, and it's only Monday through Friday, and you can work from home, and you can be anywhere in the world. So really, when you decide if you want to trade, if this is really seriously what you want to do, and even if you want to do it part-time or on the side, meaning just take a couple of trades a month, not even every day, when you decide that you want to do it, it's really something that you have to take seriously where you have to educate yourself on trading and find a good system that you will be able to use consistently to make money. So when you choose education, it really is a gift to yourself. You are giving yourself the chance to be successful, the opportunity by learning a system. Now for me, I created my own system 10 years ago now. I began trading 2008. It's 2018, end of 2018, and I will tell you that when you choose to trade, you have to take it seriously. And if you don't educate yourself before you risk your own money in the market, you're, you're going to lose. And it doesn't mean that every trade that you take will lose. It means that more trades will lose than win if you don't know what you're doing. And the stuff that you get online that's free is never going to teach you how to make money in the market. Otherwise, people wouldn't put it out there. There's always something uh, when people put information out there that you have to be aware of. And I'll talk about that in another webinar um, later at some time. But when you are thinking about doing this, I can't stress enough how, how serious you have to be. So give yourself the gift of education. You are saying, you know what, I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to, like you would take any class at any college, at any university, any time that you would decide that you want to become better and smarter and more proficient, and you're, and you're actually putting your money in yourself. You're investing in yourself. Investing in yourself is something where if you're not willing to invest in yourself, then who else is going to? And if you want to be successful in the market, it's something that you have to take seriously. And, and I think one of the reasons that a lot of people lose money in the market is that they do not take trading seriously. They don't take risk seriously. They don't take uh, learning seriously before they place trades in the market. Anyways, this is a classic example. Classic Melissa, because it was a great call on big. This was Friday, December 7th. Great call. Why? Because a lot of day traders probably lost in big because they were in the wrong direction. They went long it, and big was a short. So you would learn in my system how to find stocks like big and how to take them in the right direction because big was a short. It was not a long. This tail here, though, shows you how the stock lifted first and people tried to push it back thinking it was going to fill this area and it didn't do it. It was a short. It was a nice, nice trade if you did it correctly. Anyways, here was a one minute chart. Stock closed here, gap down, fell, rallying. We were in it, had to stop at the correct place, and then it got the drop. So if you were short this, you made money. Now, without going into a lot of detail here, this is what you learned in my class, but when you short a stock, say at 33, and it drops to 31, your profit is $2 times the amount of shares you have. So if, if you have 2,000 shares and a stock drops $2 and you're short it, you would make what? 4,000 bucks. That's how you do it. That's how you pull money out of the market. And so this is what I teach really in my class, how to find the ticker symbol, how to trade in what direction, the entries, and the system itself. It's really a lot less stressful though when you follow someone. If you decide to do my course, you are eligible then after you pass the class in order to join the live trading room. It's a lot less stressful when you can follow someone in the live trades in the day in the live moment. And it's a lot less stressful when you can learn from someone instead of creating your own system. Creating your own system takes a lot of work, a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money too. And many people will never even attempt to do this uh, so it's very important to find someone that you can follow, that you trust, that makes it less stressful for you. And ultimately, it's just common sense to learn how to do anything. I mean, you would never go out 
and, and attempt to do any type of professional job without learning how to do it first. I mean, it's just a crazy thought, and yet people do it all the time with the market. They think that the free information they get online is gonna teach them how to make money, and it fails, it fails. Even if it doesn't fail every trade, it fails in the long run or even in the short term, because you will take more trades that lose than win. So in the bigger picture, investment is really an investment in education, which is an investment in yourself. And a lot of people are just out for the immediate gratification. They want to join my live trading room, take the trades, make money, and then not pay for the education. I don't allow that. So one of the best decisions I've made for individuals to, to mold good traders and for the stock switch business is to have people come to me that are serious about learning how to trade so that they are serious about their own success. And I know when someone pays for my class, they're serious about learning and they're also serious about their own success and they're willing to invest in themselves. And if someone isn't willing to invest in themselves in their own learning process and education, then you know it'd be ridiculous for them to have the um, to to be able to let them come in my trading room and have the benefit of taking my great calls. Lots of them that I have, just like Big. Anyways, many people, and again, I've had the business now for six years. It's a six-year anniversary of the business here, 2018. Many people would prefer to slowly be in pain, losing a little bit of money slowly, day by day and week by week, or making a little bit slowly, 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 but usually they're losing. They're losing week by week, month by month, and year by year in the market versus investing in education up front in one chunk of money. So somehow people like the idea of just dragging out the pain or the cost of losing, uh, and it's just, and this is all the cost to trade rather than to save themselves time by just paying for education and learning what to do. And then beginning to make money ASAP. People would rather uh, for five years, 10 years, lose slowly in the market, hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of dollars, rather than invest in one class, learn how to do it, and then move forward in their trading and their life. So many people would rather just go through the slow pain of losing their accounts rather than pay for education. And, and, and really, they're doing this because I think the pain is less, but it's not. So are the losses any less or slower? No. Typically, they're more. Uh, this is a story, this is an unfortunate story, but a man that I spoke to who called me on the phone and was going to do the class in September for whatever reason, he chose not to do it. He chose not to do it. He told me he had $20,000 in his trading account and he didn't take the class in September. Still has not taken the class. Then I followed up with him in October to see if he was ready. And he said no. He said he couldn't afford it because he didn't have the money. I said, what do you mean? What are you talking about? He said he lost half his account. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You had $20,000 in your account. You lost 10 grand in the last month? And he said, yes, he did. So in September, he told me he didn't have enough money to do my class, which he did. My class is six grand and he had $20,000. And then when I talked to him in October, he still had enough money for my class. He had, he had $10,000, but he had lost 10, okay, which was more than the cost of my class. Lost $10,000 in a month, which is a huge amount of money to lose in a month. And then still said he didn't have the money for my class, but he did. He had $10,000. I don't even know where he is now. Haven't talked to him for months. It's December. He may have blown up his whole account by now because it's December. The last time I spoke to him was October. And this is many, many people's stories. They hate to invest in education. And yet they will lose, lose, lose money in the market. And I'm sure he didn't lose in one full swoop on one trade, the 10 grand that, he, that I know that he lost. I'm sure that he probably lost it over a period, some winning trades, some losing trades, but in the end, chasing it back, trying to make back the money that he was losing and not understanding that he really was never going to ever make money in the market without the proper education. So it's very, very unfortunate story. He wouldn't listen to anything I said. He wouldn't take my advice. I don't know where he's at right now, but this story is many, 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 many people's stories that are out there. Um, and they'd rather the pain of losing the money in the market. Somehow that, that, that's, that works for them, but it's just so dumb. It's just so dumb to trade without knowing what to do. And ultimately, many people lose as traders or investors in the market because they do not know what to do. So while it's true that not all trading education out there is good, in fact, a lot of it is crap. Because when I wouldn't have had to create my own system if a lot of it was good out there, okay? Because I checked out a lot of places myself but even though, okay, while it's true that not all trading education out there is good or quality, it is also true that not all trading education is bad, okay? The problem is that people never are sure if they will learn enough to cover the cost of the education. They feel like they're losing by paying for education. Meanwhile, they lose in the market year after year without knowing exactly 
how long it's going to take for them to make the money back for the class. But I must be honest with you, the point of doing my course is to learn how to trade the market. It's not to worry about how fast you're going to make back the cost of my class. Although it's great if you can make it back in the first week or the first month or even in one trade I've had people do. That's not the case for every single person because every person is risking a different amount in every trade that they take. So the reality is that when you come and decide that you are investing in yourself and you want to learn my system and my method, you have to look at it in the bigger picture. The bigger picture is you're going to get good and maybe you'd even get good as good as me. But the idea is really to learn what I know so that you can use it for the rest of your life. So that's what, what people should do is come with an attitude that they're going to get better and smarter and better at reading charts. They're going to learn how to read price action from me. They're going to learn how to trade. They're going to learn how to make money. And they're going to make back the cost of the classes ever long as it or short as it takes them to make it. The point is that they're going to do the right actions. The point is that they're going to move forward and be profitable by following the system and not deviating. So how should people think about making educational choices? This is, this, is, this is something that since I've had the business for six years, I'm just aghast like the story I told you about the gentleman earlier lost so much money in a month and there's many, many people that have lost way more. People really have to be smart about it. It's almost like you have to step outside of yourself and act like you're giving yourself advice like you were your best friend or even your parent. You know, that's, that's the best thing that I can say because sometimes people want to have this outlook where they say, well, I'm going to do it and I don't really, or I, I know enough, or I don't really need to know anything, or I'm just going to join this trading room and jump around from trading room to trading room. You're never going to make it that way. Okay. People should not trade without education, even if they're in trading rooms that allow them to be there. And there are many rooms out there that allow people to join the room without learning first. It's a terrible decision for, for, for that individual because they're not going to become a whole person, a whole trader. They're not going to gain the skills. It's a skill set. When, when you learn how to trade and read price action, it's a skill set. Now, what do I mean by price action? I mean, I'm just going to go back to this chart here. I mean the ability to see that big in here was a short, not a long. So my ability... My abilities, okay, I have many, many abilities, but one of my abilities is that I can read that big is a short on 12.7, not a long. So if you want to make money in big on Friday, you had to short it, okay? So that's a skill set that I can see that, and not only that, that I can see it before the open. Anyone in the world can see it now and see that big is lower and is lower, but I saw this before the open, before the stock even opened, before 9.30 Eastern time, before the market even opened. In the morning, in the pre-market is when I rated the gap and I read it, and that is my skill. It's a skill that I have, it's a, a skill that I've honed, and that is the benefit of coming and learning what I know, and also to be in the room with me because I have this amazing skill and it's gotten better and better and better over time. Again, because I've been doing this for 10 years. And when you choose to really invest in yourself to get good at something, you will get better over time. The, many traders get worse over time because they're so confused and they go around from jump around from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. In fact, this gentleman that lost all this money was honest with me and admitted to himself that he jumps around from thing to thing all the time in different trading rooms until he decides that he wants to invest in himself and his own choices in life to actually be successful and make money in the market, he should just stop trading because he is jumping around too much and will never, never profit from the market. It is better for people to take a class and learn from someone and just fork over the money up front for the course and learn a system that's good and quality rather than slowly lose money in the market. You're going to save yourself time. Time is invaluable. It's one of the most important things in my life right now, especially in 2018. I'm juggling so many things. People that don't make money, you know, they, they are just at the point where they have to say, okay, either I'm going to pay someone else to learn it or I'm going to spend this much money and this much time and this many years out of my life to figure it out myself. And most people will never do that. And even if they try, they will fail because as much money and time as they think it will require, it will be even more. And I'm speaking from personal experience here now. Because when I decided I wanted to trade in and create my own system, I thought I could figure it out in six months. I thought I'm so smart I could figure it out in six months, maybe a year. It took me three years to create the Golden Gap, to get all the points together, everything. And now here it is 10 years later, and I'm so good at what I do. But many people will not be able to do this. They won't put forth the effort and time and money is required. And they'll never get good. They'll never get as good as I am. Because the fact is they will quit. Many people start something and they're totally unrealistic in their expectations and quit. 
You have to look at this as a bigger picture. You're investing money in your own education, which is investing money in yourself. And you are actually, or you should think, okay, this is your attitude. I'm saying if I was you, but this is, I think this about myself and I'm saying people should think this about themselves individually too. You should look at yourself as a good investment. If you don't look in the mirror and look at yourself as a good investment, how could you possibly think anyone else would? How could you ever think you could get hired for a job? How could you ever think that you'd make a lot of money in this lifetime? How do you ever think that the market's going to ever pay you? Okay. You have to look at yourself that you are worth investing in, that you are worth your own success, that you have to look at yourself and become more confident. And even if your confidence level is low because you've lost money in classes in the market in the past, you have to say, do, do, do. I'm going to have amnesia about all of that. I learned from those experiences. I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to be smart. And I'm not going to make those same mistakes. I'm not going to make those same mistakes in the future. I'm not going to make those same choices. Going back to this previous gentleman who lost all this money, he's going to continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over and over and over again until he just looks at himself in the mirror and says, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to do Melissa's class. I'm going to listen to what she says. I'm going to pay for the class. I'm going to take it. I'm going to learn. I'm going to take her trades. And people go through their own process, but what I find unbelievable, actually I do find it believable, but I still find it shocking, okay? I believe it, but I still find it shocking that people would rather waste countless, countless months and weeks and years of their lives trying to be successful instead of just jumping in full on, full fledged, diving into the pool towards their own success to make it happen as fast as they possibly can and being on board with that. In other words, you gotta be on board with your own success. You have to be there, you have to be present, you have to be invested mentally, emotionally. You have to get. You have to go to bed at night and get the right number of hours of sleep. Don't trade on an empty stomach. Be there, be prepared, pay attention to class, listen to me in the trading room. I mean, take notes, all of this stuff. So if you really, really want it, if you really want it and you really wanna make it happen, you can. You gotta believe in yourself. And even if your confidence is low, you can turn that around in a second, in a day. Doesn't have to take weeks and months and years to turn your confidence around or even to turn yourself into a successful trader. Trust me when I say, and I will not be wrong, that 2019, this is a chart of the QQQs, will be an extremely volatile year for the market, for traders, for investors, for anyone that has a dime in the market, which a lot of people have their retirement accounts in the market in 401ks. I had a call from a friend the other day. He's going nuts. He's in all these things. He had to meet with his investment advisor. He, he doesn't know what to do. A lot of the positions that he's been in, this investment advisor had him in, have been down because the market's been down for the last month. So I'm telling you, you got to get on board with your own success. You have to know what you're doing with your money in 2019. If you were a trader and you lost in 2018, you're probably going to lose more in 2019. If you're a trader that doesn't know how to trade and you're trading, you're going to lose more in 2019. If you made money in 2018, you could still lose in 2019 if you don't know how to trade. If even, because what you did in 2018 is not going to work in 2019. I don't know if that makes any sense. You have to have a very strict solid system and you have to know what you're getting into in the market for 2019 if you're an active trader it's a great time to make a lot of money if you know how to play the stocks right you know what stocks to watch and you understand the market i'm very good at reading the market that's one thing that a lot of people have given me credit for i have never been wrong since i've talked on national tv about my calls on the market i'm telling you that this is one thing that when you understand how the market works and you understand how the market overall market affects different stock symbols too it will really help you and benefit you in your overall trading the market in 2019 is going to be extremely volatile do not trade or risk your money without a system that works you have to be think thoughtful you have to use stops okay and you have to understand what you're doing okay or follow someone that does and pay for the education of that person like me so there's a there's an old saying out there i don't know if you ever heard it okay it's a 90 90 90 rule okay 90 percent of the people that tr attempt to trade the market lose 90 percent of their money within 90 days okay that's just like, like a one of those sayings that goes out there a lot of people open up accounts they open up retail accounts for 25 grand they think they're going to go out they're going to trade that is so dangerous Twenty five thousand dollars is a lot of money okay you need to think about what you're doing but a lot of people lose a lot most of what they have at the beginning so if you're new and you've never traded before and you don't have a system or a strategy or anyone to follow, it's very important to get that right away at the beginning. 
you can learn my system without ever knowing anything at all about gaps or ever trading the market before you take my class. But it's very important to not be in this group. And again, 90% of the people are in this group where they lose at the beginning. So don't lose your hard earned money in the market. However, you earned the money that you saved, okay, whether it was your regular job, part-time job, just savings you've had for a long, long time, someone lent you money, you borrowed it, you don't wanna lose it. You wanna be thoughtful, and I use this word all the time, it's called conviction. I say I have 100% conviction this is gonna work, or I say I don't have any conviction it's gonna work, in which case we don't do it, and I don't even call it in the room. If I don't have 100% conviction, I don't do it. I don't even say maybe, okay? You have to have that kind of attitude and confidence within yourself and the system you're trading or trade with someone that does. So in my class, you will learn the Golden Gap points. It's a 26 points. It's the rating system. This is the meat and potatoes. This is the system. It's really the checklist, okay? And then you learn how to take the trades and the entries. I'm a teacher. This is me. And uh, someday I may do live classes in New York. My schedule this year has been nuts. But I will tell you that you get the benefit of doing the class with me. If you want to do the two-day course, it's a 16-hour class. Usually do it on Saturdays and Sundays. And learning from a teacher, you can, you can gain a lot. You gain the perspective and being in the trading room really helps too. So how much money do you need to trade the Golden Gap? You have to be able to open up a day trading active brokerage account. And if you don't have an active account, you could be in and out of trades every day, then you do it as many days as you can, or you trade the system using options. That's another thing you can do too. So my class is called the Golden Gap Course. The last class for 2018 is coming up. December 15th and 16th from 9 to 5 Eastern Time Cost the class is $59.99 US dollars. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me if you want to register to secure your spot. Combo class tuition trends and Golden Gap is $64.99. Class is online. Again, you can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me if you'd like more information. Email me if you want to sign up. Think about the things I said today. Very, very, very important. I really want to see people succeed. It's one of the reasons I take so much time with my students. And, and if you want to come and be my student, I will take the time with you, okay? I don't have time for people that aren't, in, aren't invested and interested in their own personal success. And, and trust me when I say, I'm getting better and better at, at, at feeling out those people as I email and discuss with them. You know, I, it's, you can, you can, what's the saying? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, that kind of thing. So, you know, think about what I said today. Email me if you have any questions or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Have a great day, everyone.